Yes, you read that title correctly. You can connect to Microsoft Teams, and that includes team meetings, using an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4. So, it's Tuesday, the 5th of January 2021. The government announced last night another lockdown in the UK, and with that, all the schools are closed. And many of these schools, including junior schools, faced a sprint in order to get all of the children set up active online to work virtually from home. Many parents have already been through this ordeal during the autumn and now more parents are having to learn new computer skills and get younger children connected, this time with zero time in order to be ready for it. Now I've been working online to support these parents through Facebook and YouTube uh, for the past few months, which is why I've not been online, I've been very busy, uh, trying to guide them through and help them through getting onto Teams and getting into their sort of assignment work, etc. Uh, and the problem that we've had quite repeatedly today is, is where some families don't have the hardware like an available tablet or laptop to get the children connected. Uh, most schools will provide such devices if needed. But this was announced uh, by the government only last night from this video. And parents have been given zero time to get organised and get device handy for the kids to use. And, and we're talking about sort of 10 year olds, 11 year olds using devices that parents might be using for work um, or be using for other devices. And these are quite expensive. So I had one particular parent basically saying, oh, God, you know, if I don't get this done in time, uh, my child's going to miss out and um, he's just going to end up sitting on his Xbox all day. So I said, well, why doesn't he use his Xbox to connect to Microsoft Teams? And there was a long pause. <laughs> It was like, can you do that? Like, yes. Um, and the reason why is because uh, the Xbox has a browser and you connect, you can connect to most Office uh, features, including Teams, through your browser. Uh, and this means it also PlayStation 4 has the ability to connect to Microsoft Teams. Uh, and it's quite straightforward for a student to set up because they know how to use the gaming console already. All they've got to do is go to a browser and hook up. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to get this connected and it will take minutes to get this sorted. The good news is you do not need any special equipment, just the typical bits you would normally use for gaming, but there are some optional extras that will make the experience better. So what do you need? Uh, an Xbox One or PlayStation 4 console, obviously, and the game controller. That will get you to move around the page and sort of type things in. Now, obviously, you'll need an internet connection. An ethernet cable would be better, but if you don't have that, if they're connecting via Wi-Fi, it should be fine, but you might get some lag, a bit of delay. Okay. Now, to help things in, if you want to communicate with the teacher online during the meetings, which you can, um, then you'll need a headset with a microphone. Alternatively, if you don't have a headset or a microphone, um, you can blast it through the TV speakers and they can use a USB keyboard. So the Xbox has the ability to plug a regular USB keyboard into the Xbox and they can type uh, and chat with the teacher through the, the conversation tools. You can use both uh, if you wish to, but at the end of the day, the idea is to sort of get them communicating with the teacher. Now you're using the browser, which means there are some limitations. And one of those is it doesn't have the interface with the feature to work with a webcam. So you can see the teacher and you can see anyone else using the webcam, but they won't see you. But if this is the only result you've got to getting your uh, children to connect to school, hey, this, this is fantastic. This is an option that's got to be ta worth taking. So once you've got your Xbox or your PlayStation 4 up and running, first thing you need to do is go into your apps and launch your browser. Now in Xbox, you already have Microsoft Edge. And typically, Edge and Google Chrome are the only apps that fully support the functionality via browser in this way. So in PlayStation 4, you can use the browser that's there if you're able to get a Google Chrome. Now, whatever website you've been given to get into Microsoft Teams, the quickest one is Office Dot com. This works on any Microsoft Office connection. Regardless of your school, office.com is the quickest to type. If you don't have a keyboard, this is actually quite useful when you're trying to type in via gaming console. Now you'll be asked to log in with your usual credentials that your school has provided. This will be your user account and the password. 
So, so far, this is no different to going in via laptop, except it might be a bit slower using the gaming console's hardware. Once you're in, down the left-hand side, you will find the Teams logo. If you give it a click, it will take you to your Microsoft Teams environment. Now, I'm not going to go through the Teams uh, look and feel. There are many videos. I have actually got some videos that takes you through the Teams environment. That's it. With your headphone connected, uh, with your microphone on or your keyboard plugged in, you'll get a better experience. But even if you don't have them, you'll at least be able to listen to the teacher and you'll be able to uh, grab hold of as much information via the live broadcast. If you are able to communicate to your teacher while you're in a, a meeting session, it is advisable to let them know that you're connecting to Teams via a gaming console. And this will make them understand. This will help them to be aware that you don't have full speed and functionality at your fingertips. Now I've used the Xbox as a guide. This does work in a similar way to the PlayStation 4. The only thing I'm not entirely sure of, so it does need, need someone to test this out, is the ability to use headphones and microphone via the browser that the PlayStation provides. So it should work, um, but this is why this is really about more the Xbox than the PlayStation 4, because that I can guarantee does work. I've tested it and used it already. If you've got any other questions about this, uh, you can contact me like everyone else has been doing through Facebook. You can contact me through the YouTube, but Facebook is where I'm going to be sitting most of the time, answering questions and speaking to people through Instant Messenger. So my contact details are on the screen there. You can get to me directly through facebook.com slash johndayqa without the and. And that's my actual user account. And you can reach me on the Instant Messenger via that. Uh, I do sort of try and support. I am only one person, but I am trying to support as many people as I possibly can. So if, I, if I'm not able to um, get to you immediately, uh, please leave a message and I will get back to you ASAP. Otherwise, please stay safe and have fun.